Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back again with some more Don't Starve with Leo and Rotype. And we're going to be starting up again. We had some unfortunate events happen in the end of the last series, and we've come together and we've decided that we have enough experience that we're going to give a try to the survival mode. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult as there will be more punishment for death. So it's going to be up to us to prevent ourselves from dying, at least to try to prevent ourselves from dying. But I'm going to go ahead and load in here and I think everybody else is set up. We're going to be playing the same characters just because we're familiar with them and they seem to work okay last time. All right, loot. We have saplings this time, so that's a plus. Now that will make things a little easier. How's the uh, the minimap? Okay, it looks like it's yeah, working. Only one, so that was yeah, that was definitely our problem last time. Okay. All right. Not bad bunnies over here, and a couple rocks as well. Oh, good. I got plenty of other things, but I've yet to find myself some flint. Right. Oh, I meant right. rocks you could mine, not not flint. Uh, so, any thoughts on uh, how to proceed? Well, I think we're going to look for, I mean, outside of just gathering things, just looking for a good campsite to start with. Yeah, I think we need to find the beefalo, and one thing we didn't do last time that I think maybe hurt us a little bit was we didn't find a good source of um, silk, so possibly if we could find some silk would be a good thing to factor into where we set up base. Fortunately, it looks like it seemingly started midday, so I'm not going to have as much time as I would have liked. Yeah, well, that's pretty standard, right? Yeah, it seems so. Huh. Bad turkey. So we definitely have, like, evil biome down here. Oh, by you? Okay, that's not good. Yeah. I was going to say... I'm going to so leave. <laughs> Setting up camp over here has so far not been too bad because there's a rock biome where I am. There's a field over to the east where there's lots of bunnies. There's a forest. Well, that's a so, I mean, this crossroad here isn't too bad, but I don't know if we're permanent camp would be a good idea or not. No, uh, well, at least set up an yeah. initial camp because we'll need to start somewhere. Um, speaking of yeah, which, I first, should probably... first few nights we might be just on a temporary camp till we find mostly till we find the beeflow, I think. All right. right. So we should really be thinking about how to organize better. Okay. So I have an axe. I'm going to start cutting down trees. Does anybody have resources to make a pick or something like that where you can start mining? I actually found um, one on the ground. Okay. So I have one already. All right. So I'm getting the resources together to make a camp. I mean, a, a, a fire. Now, since we've been needing a healing items and all the such, I have been reading up on how to uh, be creating a rot a little bit more reliably. Okay, that will help. And uh, we could consider just, you know, siphoning off part of our cooked meals to let them rot. Like, for instance, uh, cooked berries, for instance. Hmm, okay. Juicy berries particularly rot quite quickly. And they rot faster after you cook them? Yep. Yes, he, he is correct. <laughs> good. good to know. Yeah, keeping uh, veggies and fruit um, raw will make them last longer. If you if you want to do that, <laughs> there's a lot of turkeys in this area. Okay, so it's starting to get I to that a bunch of buzzards too. Starting to get to that time where we should get together so that we uh, can build a fire. All right, where do we gather? All right, I'm just going to go to where you are, Leo, and Rotype's going to have to come to us because he's the furthest away. All right, yeah, I'll, uh, right here is probably fine. Oh, okay, yeah, you got it. Campfire done. Okay. Yeah, well, actually, it's just about so to be I've night. I've already seen a couple things in this world that I've never seen before. I saw buzzards. I saw a marble sculpture and the, uh, like, frog amphibian... Creatures, whatever they're called. Just the regular frogs? No, they're, um, I don't know, like two legged frog. Like, frog is the wrong word, but some kind of amphibian 
mob. <laughs> I don't know. What, I'm sure they have some name that I don't know what they are. Mm hmm. All right. All right. So I think tomorrow I'm going to go to the east because it looks like we have still some territory to cover over there. Uh, you found some new ideas. I think. Oh, no, it doesn't have a rock just... biome at night is boring. <laughs> but you have a torch? Yeah. So, you know, I can see, like, I don't know, six feet on either side of me, and it's just, like, rock. That's it. Just, like, nothing. Except yeah, it's a very on. large rock biome. Well, at least we found one quickly and nearby. All right. All any right. suspicious track shots? I haven't seen any, but I haven't necessarily been looking either, I must admit. Well, I'll right, head south then. Southish, along the road. Oh, yeah. But be careful of that one biome. Oop. Found the tall birds. Mm hmm. Man, this rock biome is huge. And no spiders so far. Yeah, no bee flow yet either. Yeah, well, bee flow are our later term goal. Yeah, but the good thing about this mode is we're not really tied to the, the floored postern, so we can really just go wherever we want to go. It's true. Hmm. Right, more grass. I kind of got distracted by all the resources around. Come on, mouse, stay focused. <laughs> <laughs> Stay on target. Hand, I'm just like wandering in this endless rock biome. I think I found the edge of the world, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say that looked like a rose, and I was wondering if I'd get hurt picking it, and yep. <laughs> yep, that's what the rose is exactly doing. Exactly what you think it would do, yeah. <laughs> well, it didn't say it was a rose, so I, was, I thought, oh, okay, maybe I'm wrong, but yeah, it was. <laughs> Okay, I have completely mapped the enormous stone bio. There's nothing here except for stone. Okay. Ah. So you've got the Marco Polo no. achievement. There's also a statue to Maxwell. I don't know. The, the option is to mine it. Something tells me that is a dangerous thing uh, to do. I think there is a Maxwell biome. You might actually be either in it or uh. nearby it. I don't want to know the details of that, though. Usually there's mm. a lot of those... looks like a... Mm -hmm. It looks like a normal stone biome, just with the statue to Maxwell in it. Okay. Because Maxwell's biome, I think, has a lot of those mechanical uh, things. Uh -huh. Oh, found a paved path. See where this goes. All right, this is a dead end. I mean, it's a nice biome, but this is a dead end. Any wormholes yet? Not seen any. Ooh, look at that! Some free stuff. If only I could get over there. Yeah, it's really annoying when you find a bunch of nice stuff and then there's like a river in the way. Uh oh, spiders. Well, at least you found some. Yeah, um, hopefully the pigmen will kill them. <laughs> well, so, they should if they see them. So far, I'm not finding a lot. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stones here or rocks that I don't. I'm just laying around. I haven't seen a lot of that before. Was that in the rock biome? Did you just see rocks laying around? Uh, a few, but not anything. I mean, like here, a there's a ton. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to... Like lying on the ground? Yeah. Some more spooky stuff. Rock biome. I mean, I didn't do bad for resources. i just not finding much of anything noteworthy. Another rock biome. Hmm. 
Not immediately finding anything mostly useful. Holy crap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's like a dozen pig houses over here. Ah, you found a village. Apparently, but they're like, they're cramped Ooh. right on top of each other, not like spread out. Okay, I found a, a track. It is over in the strip. What is this? Okay, well, I'll... that's going to make it difficult to mine the that big, big village. Hmm. Hmm. Not really finding anything else. I mean, if we can't find beefalo, the next best option for manure is really the pigmen. Oh, okay. Yeah, this area over here isn't a bad place because this, there's a spider nest right next to the pig village. So you can just make the pigs kill the spider and then clean up the silk and everything. Kind of easy. All right, so you're saying Oops. your your area is a little bit more promising? Uh, I mean, a little bit. Oh, they just killed oh. a pig man. There's, there's a biome that looks like just purple goo. Is that good or bad? Uh, that's a swamp, I think. Quite dangerous enemies could be in there. Okay. Well, I'm following the tracks. I do actually have a lead here. But it's pretty far out from where you guys are. Uh, just keep an eye on the time. Yeah, I have enough resources that I can make a campfire, I think, so. I'll be alright. Alright. Alright, I've got the tracks going north. I think the tracks are lying to me. <laughs> I'm finding pretty frequent tracks, so... Hoping it and actually leads to something. Northeast. Okay, it's getting to that time. All right. Campfire it is. I need to eat anyway. Whoa. Form the class of your wild. I was tempted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just uh, I got a little too close to a spider, but I outran it. When the pigmen go to bed, it's a little. Uh oh, a uh, torch. There we go. When the pigmen go to bed, it's a little more dicey to get near the spiders. I can't just go make the pigmen fight them. Hmm. Nah, it's probably still too early to make traps. Oh, I guess I should eat a little bit here. My torch does not shine light far enough away for me to see the spiders, just hear them. I can never tell if they how close they are. All right. All right, I'm going to follow this trail and if I don't find anything, I'm just going to go back to where you guys are and we'll I guess the pigmen right. are where we're going to hope on. Yeah, the uh, pigmen are pretty far away from any rabbits. Okay. So, probably somewhere in between. I mean, eventually we can make our own pigman village, so uh, should be alright. Yeah, and there are a handful of spider nests just kind of dotted throughout the, uh, the area, so we won't have to travel too far to get some silk. Yeah, the track I was following led me astray, just put me in a circle, so... Yeah. yeah, it does that way too often. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, All right. like some sort of madman made these tracks. <laughs> All right. All right, let me take a look at the grand map. So, if we look at the map, where is... Okay, so where are you talking about on the map is the pigmen? By the spiders? 
Uh, let's see. So where you are, how yeah, far see, away? <laughs> way down, um, like above the rock biome, way out to the left. You'll see huh. if you kind of zoom in a little bit, you'll see a bunch of they look like their houses. It's like uh, pretty far to the left. Oh, uh, uh, OK, I'm not. Oh, I see it now. OK. All right. That is pretty far away from anything. Yeah, that's the only downside is it's uh, it's close to spiders and it's close to the pigs. But other than that. Uh oh, killer bees run away. So what's your vote then? Do you want to keep exploring then? Because I don't know. It seems like the the only bunnies I've seen are in this little bit of uh, grass field at, uh, biome here. Everywhere else seems to be kind of not the best as far as food. So there are a ton of bunnies and I just found one beefalo where I am now. Up okay. in this grass biome. Yeah, here's the rest of the beefalo. So maybe up this way a little bit might be good. All right, I'm on the way. All right. Yeah, I found a bunch of beefalo. There are a ton of bunnies. Me and Leo are uh, really far away, and... though, so... Yeah. Oh, we can make it. We still have time. Well, I'm just saying it'll take us time. I uh, need to drop something. What do I have enough of? Yeah, this is definitely the main beefalo location. There are a bunch of bunnies. I don't know the nearest spider nest. Oh, yeah, spiders aren't too far away, so if you're able to get silk... This looks promising. Okay. Did anybody happen to get gold while they were out and about? Because I I only got one chunk. I have four. I don't okay. remember how much we need for the uh, all the stuff. Uh, a lot. All right. Well, we've got uh, exploration that we can do. As a matter of fact, I'll I'll go ahead and do a little bit. Found a found a rock. I found a bunch of um beard hair on the ground. It was kind of a, a weird find. Oh, well, we can also make something out of that. Yeah, I've got two gold nuggets. Okay. I'm not sure that's enough. You should have enough for at least a science machine between what you have and what I have. Ooh. Nope, okay, that that's not what I wanted at all. That area's a little dangerous Set looking. Set the map on me, please. Up eye bone. What is that? I also found a fire staff. Ooh, and a corpse with a trap and a bunch of rope. But I have picked yeah, up a lot of cool. good stuff up here. But I have picked up something called an eye bone. Uh, yeah, that I gives you chest, I believe. Yeah, get it. Oh, there he is. All right, where are we converging? Um, up. Where are you? Okay, Oof. so yeah, you have some time to get here. Uh. How about this crossroad where I am? Uh, because it seems to be... Uh, I don't know if uh, this is the it's best. It's recognizable. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. It's um, close to the beefalo, but gives them space to do their whole um, mating season thing and easy to get to the spiders a little bit farther south, click silk, etc., etc. All right, so where is everything in relation to ship to where I am right now? So... The bunnies are to the north of you, the okay. beefalo are to the east of you, okay. and the spiders are slightly southeast, I yeah, think. Yeah, I already saw them. Okay. Leo, stick There's to the main road, giant... because uh, yeah. some of that area is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to make a There's permanent... There's a giant beehive up here, um, up to the north. Yeah, killer bees, I saw it. What else? Yeah. Um, okay, so there's a pond permanent. down there we can fish in. I think this is a good spot. I like it. All right, is anybody hungry? I've got a decent amount of food. I'm 57, so I can side for a little while, but I'm going to okay. figure it out soon. I'm just going to cook all my berries because they're going to go bad if I don't anyway, so. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, more spiders. Finally, something that isn't a puck no war chest. All right. Yeah. How are you doing, uh, Leo? Uh, I can eat. I'll just uh, cook my berries. I just fed you a couple. <laughs> Come here. There are more spiders to the west, just stop, not very stop, far. Stop. Um, stop. Stop. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Oops. All Looks right. like we're at that time, though. Oh, yep. Uh, in any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner, Leo, and Rotype signing out.